sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Riona's fucking research lab. But how did the culprits carry his body to the gym from there? They ziplined it. Isn't Rioma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. The zip line for the, the cable. Yep. Sorry, that's my uh, water. <laughs> the what shortcut between Rioma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? The window. There! The shortcut is the window in Rioma's lab. The window? That's right. None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Rioma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gym straight across. Do you think the culprit dropped Rioma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete. That's not a, not entirely what happened, but Your you're close. Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. Exactly. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right. I apologize. I must go on a journey to reflect on this. We keep hitting dead ends since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. It wasn't. <laughs> well, that didn't really give us any info about the crime. It gave us exactly what we wanted. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now, I'm sure the crime scene was in Rioma's lab, but the case is becoming clearer. To determine how the body got there from the crime scene, to we had to figure out what was found. I have to figure out how to get, the, uh, get from the third floor to the window of the gym. All right, then. I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. Oh! Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, when... You have to deduce how things are connected. Psyche Taxi will start up. The objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. Use A to accelerate, left stick to move left and right. By picking up the letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you have completed the question, head towards the escort that has the correct answer. If that's right, if it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. Also, there will be other cars on the road. If you hit those, it'll take focus energy damage. If things are getting dangerous, RB to concentrate, stay calm, and avoid them. Please drive safely and enjoy the ride. Please respond at your earliest convenience. Ah, uh, okay. I'm so... So I just have to pick up all the letter cubes? Is that what I'm doing? It is. Okay. Oh my god. This driving... I can't slow down. Why can't I slow down? Oh, no. Oh, it's on purpose that I can't. <laughs> okay. This is a fun mini game. I like it, but I'm really con confused. We're just going to go 180, 200 kilometers an hour with this woman. The body was brought to the gym from where? Brought to the gym from where? Rioma's lab, right? Oh, uh, wait, what?
Yeah, I think it's not the gym door. It's window to window. And then it's gonna ask how did it get you how did it get moved? How did the culprit move from the window to the window? Yep. Oh, that's another car. Okay. <clears throat> the cable. Is the ca the cable better show up? I swear. Let's go. Okay, the ca using the cable is the next portion of that. I've got it. Ryoma's body was moved directly from his lab to the gym. Directly? Don't tell me they threw the body from window to window. I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. Right. No, I don't believe he was thrown. But perhaps another way. What do you mean another way? There's no other way to move it. Zip line. Robert must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. The equipment to connect the windows, I believe it was found near the body. Oh, never mind. It was the rope then. There! Not the cable. The cable must be... The rope found behind the gym stage could have been used to connect the windows. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. Oh my god, Angie, shut up. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope! That's how they bridged the distance between both windows! Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65, 65 feet, yeah. feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. So 35 and 32 is, that's just short. Altogether, the sum total length from one window to the other is roughly 50 feet. What? Never mind, I'm dumb. Hold on. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. So that's more than enough. You bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? Both windows were too high to reach. It would be like tying a rope from one cliff to another. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. No, going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Which is the cable. Another rope. There was only one, though. Oh, then it impossible. Sorry. No, I'm sure there was another rope, or at least something that could be used as a rope. The cable. This is it! The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? 50 feet? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. And tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. 
That helped Culprit make one rope that reached both windows. Wow, that's amazing, Gonta. You're so knowledgeable. Yes, but how? It, it's nothing. Gonta used ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! You get it. Just tell us already. They handcuffed the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! That was my thought. Similar. Would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. But that's exactly when uh, that. Yeah, exactly. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. <laughs> you had a good point there, Mew, though. Um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi. Are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You're definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed the, to place the body directly into the piranha tank. But if the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would only have one shot at it, no second chances. So obviously the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning, they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? As we know, um, that as we know right now, there is, or there was a rope that was connected to the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body, and they were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have. They had to have used something else. What could they? Could it have been? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi. The stage is finally set. What? Listen up. Do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. And then together, we're gonna save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm going to leave the rest to you. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. I will solve the mystery and show everyone the truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think. Come on. Think. Hangman's Gambit. Oh, God. Okay. I I didn't <laughs> yes. I only... The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. <laughs> but I did and that's fine. <laughs> oh my god. A ropeway, huh? Are you sure about that? I, <laughs> I can't concentrate. Wow, you got brain damage or something? Oh my.
my god. You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. Uh, what? What, 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 what? In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind, mi or mind, mind will begin. This is a mode where you the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be covered completely in pieces. Use the left stick to move the cursor and erase the pieces with the A button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order. White, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from the object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will predict or will change. When you get all the pieces on top of the object, when all the pieces on top of the object are gone, select the object. If you answer the wrong, if you select the wrong object, your influence gauge will take damage. If there's any, if there's just one piece left, you can press the A button to repeatedly break it. But there is a time penalty, so don't just button mash. It might be, it might sound complicated, but trust me, you'll get it as you play. Thank you for understanding. That's what I want. Oh. I see it. It's the inner tube, is what I, I'm glad I wanted that. It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. The inner tube? Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Maybe the rope was originally tied on both sides. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway and used it to move themselves and Leoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! You say the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Whoa. Eh? 
It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. Yeah, whoa. Monosuke. Way to put your foot in your mouth. His foot? Monosuke just enhanced his jaw and swallowed his entire leg. <laughs> yes, Monofane, that's correct. C -c Cut it out. I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it. <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth. <laughs> Monokuma was killing Monosuke. Pops? Bye, Matsuke. Daddy's mad at you now. You're dying. Yeah. Don't look at me. This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time. <laughs> you made there be a best line of the series before you died. So, that Do not bully Monosuke. Huh? No more blaming each other. Everybody makes mistakes. I want us all to get along. Monodum's right. Monosuke, you better thank Monodum. Less attitude and more gratitude. Got it? Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Culprit really used Ropeway to move body? Yeah. Yeah, they used the ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! That's why we found it there! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Because they couldn't step foot in it. I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. When the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. It was nighttime. That's it! Even if they wanted to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at nighttime. I see! They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? No. Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, the steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible be different if they use the pole but there's no way a rope would work even if inner tube was closer to pool edge water's still too low to drag tube in sounds like a lot of work i can see why they just left it there yeah it would take too long and they would have been busted if someone saw them ha! what kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur! No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. No, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Shut up. Personally, 
I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? Hmm, looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. He has no idea. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Facts, Maki. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who this culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows down the list of suspects. It wasn't Kaido, but I remember someone uh, mentioning they went to the gym. What's the matter? Just show them the logic you believe in. Damn it. I think I wanted to make sure that they weren't playing. Somebody else went to. The it has to be you. Oh my God! You were literally one of my. I. One more thing I still have to confirm. Wait, but wait. Rumi is the prime suspect. I. Did I really? I didn't really, right? No way. No shot. Me? What? K Kirumi? Oh. So Kirumi is the culprit. That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. And not the culprit. Allies from yesterday. It was added the for a reason. Was committed at nighttime. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. Oh. It's true I have no alibi for nighttime, but the others do not have alibis either. That reasoning is too shallow just despite being Damn suspicious it. of me. I, of course, am not the culprit. The crime was committed at nighttime. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for nighttime? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. Do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. That's wrong! I... No. The only person who could have prepared this murder... I literally... I literally said this. Earlier in this trial. Where I said, Karumi distracted Kokichi and that's why I don't think Kokichi is the reason that this happened. I literally said that. 
operations in the gym in any case. That was literally my main reason for putting Karumi as a medium suspect. And why do you believe that? Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only like five minutes. That's enough to hire out. Time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion. While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Rebuttal showdown. Marked when a frame. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. Solely the rope and partition. I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that. However, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window, but there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. I'll cut through your words! I have evidence! The abrasions left on the window frames at the gym and the lab. I'm so happy. Those scratches from I'm, not, when the rope was tied to the window frame? I'm not happy Karumi's gonna die. Trust me, that's not what I'm happy about. I'm just happy that I just... Boom, 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 boom. I had to pick Kaido just to get my suspicion out of the way, like the dang interrupt of suspicion, but boom, 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 boom. Frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Is Kirumi quiet because cause that's what happened? That's right, Ganta. Please answer us, Kirumi. Shuichi is doing this for your sake. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that. Because I must do this for everyone! For everyone I have a duty and a responsibility i must serve everyone and protect them so i refuse to surrender they won't forgive me if i do what where's this coming from her response seems genuine so what did she mean by everyone she's is she doing this for all of our sakes um am i wrong is karumi innocent no i i'm wrong again Kirumi, who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaido? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. Ooh. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Oh! Huh? The motive video? You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? 
You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear to a tour? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me. But I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. Ooh. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I hate that this is sound argument. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to. Kirumi. Um, are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else. I, I, I think she's playing us, but I hope she's not. Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? I don't think he would have labored. No. <laughs> How rude. But Gota just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. That's kind of where I'm on, Karekio. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. When you put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede, so I'm not turning back now. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove so it. still believe I am the culprit? Yeah, we have to. Unfortunately, we don't have a no choice. there is evidence to indicate that I am... No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the rope weight was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with a makeshift rope weight, then the final clue falls into place. The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? Yeah. I'm doing this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. What truth? All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone! No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. I'm going to present everyone with the evidence that proves that she's guilty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! This is it! And it's not Ryoma's fabric, it's her own. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It's an important piece of the puzzle, because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? 
Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong. Your logic is flawed. It's not, though. Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash. You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that. No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. <laughs> Finding out how that back black fabric fits into the, this is key to the everything. I'll make it all clear now. Yep. Yeah, okay. Awesome. You are incorrect. What is this truth? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. Oh. You are incorrect. What is this truth? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. You are incorrect. What is this truth? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. I'm going too fast. Incorrect. Okay. I gotta slow down a little bit. In this class trial, everyone's life. Of course, it speeds up after I say I gotta slow down. Critical hits. Everyone might die. In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Right what does the critical hits mean? I completely understand your reasoning, but I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning, but I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. Ah. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. We only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reasoning. But I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. Ah! What does that piece of trash prove? It ends here. Ah! What? <laughs> what the heck was that? The piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black. What was that? What was, what was that sprite? 